Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some brownie points. These are uh, gourmet brownie bites. And we've tried this brand in the past, but these, uh, I spotted these in Tuesday morning, and these were new flavors to us, so I got real excited. Um, this is the chocolate truffle fudge in dark chocolate. This is uh, chocolate caramel sea salt in milk chocolate. Well, I have the chocolate caramel sea salt in dark chocolate, and then I've got the mint chocolate chip covered in dark chocolate and dusted with confectionery sugar. Okay, so since this is dark, this is dark, this is dark. Let's do this yeah, one no, first, the too. milk. Um, these were $3.99 a bag at Tuesday morning. Uh, it says Gourmet Brownie Bites. It all began with two sisters-in-law, an apartment kitchen, and the perfect brownie recipe. The rest is baking history. Today, Brownie Points is a thriving family-run business. No artificial flavors, no artificial colors, new bite-sized brownies, multi-flavors. One ounce, 30 grams is 150 calories. That's why we're gonna weigh them for you because we wanna know how many do you get uh, for 30 grams, 150 calories. Now, most packages say one gram is 28. I mean, one ounce is 28 grams. Right, but sometimes they do say 30. I know, it, it just, I it's know. It's probably 1.1 ounce. These are big. Ooh, they smell good. No, no. They're very okay. small. They're, they're, <laughs> like malted milk balls. You get about three of those. Nope, that's it. That's it. Three. Yeah. Oh, 30, exactly. So you get 10 calories each. 10 calories. Uh, Roughly. No, that's not right. That would only oh, be 30 no, calories. 10 calories, that would be nice. 10 grams. 10 piece. grams, which is what <laughs> he meant. Yeah, 10 grams of base. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice that really yeah. 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 Three of those at 150 calories. So we'll have to see if the other ones are the same size. You want to buy one and a half? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. There's a flavor in there I don't like. Me too. It's very chemical like. I mean, like, really Me chemical like. <laughs> See if they expired. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. It tastes very sour. Like, no. Like sour they're, milk or something. No, they're good until August. Those are not good. Yeah. You I know, do you get salt. You smelled them and you were like, oh. They smell. They, they I smell they like smelled, a chemical. I thought they smelled decent. I thought they smelled good. But mm. I, I don't like that aftertaste. No, that's not good. No, it tastes like they've gone off and they are good until August. So... Um, yeah, I just, and that really surprises me because the ones we've had in the past, we've liked. Let's see if we like the dark yeah, chocolate. Something with that caramel. Maybe or it's, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. I like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good but, size. Um, but the flavor is very off-putting. Uh, so this is the same thing, but it's in dark chocolate. And let's see if it's the same. One ounce, 30 grams, 150. So this is probably three, um, brownies as well as long as they're about the same size yeah these smell like dark chocolate mm -hmm. a little bit they, you smell the dark chocolate so let me bite one a big one and a half it's gonna be three of them or... now that it's much better is much better because it still has an underlying chemical flavor. Whatever it was in that milk chocolate, this dark is so dark, and there's a bitterness to it, that it's covering it up. It is, but it's the caramel or the salt, one of the two. Yeah. Because it's still there. Well, we don't have any other ones that are caramel. Yeah. So no, that's good. I don't like that one either. That one... I could eat it if I had to, but I'd rather not, because I still get that underlying... I'm funkiness. not getting that funkiness. I'm not getting that in this at all. All I get is dark chocolate. If you, Andrew, would, our son, would really like these because he likes dark chocolate, dark chocolate. a lot, he would appreciate those because they're very, very dark. They even dry your mouth out a little bit. That's how dark, dark they are. But I do think the texture is incredible. Mm -hmm. It would like be very easy to sit and eat a whole bag because you don't get a ton yeah. in here. Yeah, you watch a movie like you're eating bonbons or something. Uh, there's five servings in here and you get three. Uh, so, yeah, there's not a lot in here for $4. Now, this one, 
is the chocolate truffle fudge covered in dark chocolate dusted with cocoa powder. Oh, cocoa powder. I thought yeah. it was like confectionery. No, cocoa powder. Okay. And well, it really is read that one, on uh, one ounce, 30 grams, 150 calories again. Yep, basically three. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure. Oh. Oh, it's the mint that's covered in confectionery sugar. Okay, I didn't read my wrong. You just didn't read all of yours. No, I didn't read what it was covered in. This is better. Mm hmm Yes, that is much better. You know what, though? They're getting to the point where that's not a brownie anymore. No, it's just dark chocolate. It's just chocolate with dark chocolate, chocolate inside, with, yeah. with cocoa. Yeah, yeah. that's... That's not a brownie. It no longer has that brownie texture. No. It's all solid, like almost crunchy chocolate inside. Like a I crisp agree. Chocolate. The, I agree. The first one was more like a brownie than any of these. Right. Um, but yeah, this one, I agree. It's just like a, a ball of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're good. But they I are like good. Them. Yeah. So this last one. You know, like, no longer brownies. This last one. Well, and they said. They said something to indicate to me that maybe they made bigger ones. Hmm. Um, they said new bite-sized brownies, um, which would indicate to me that the like old or... one was the bigger. So I've never seen brownie points in any other variety except for these. Right. So if you have, let, let us know. Take, you smell a mint. Doesn't that indicate to you they would have made bigger ones if these are the like new a, ones? Like trays or yeah. something. Yeah, uh, mint chocolate chip covered in dark chocolate, dusted with confectioner sugar. Yeah, confectioner. So, and these, these are smell are very, minty. very, very strong of mint. One ounce, 30 grams, 150. That's the same as all of them. I got more than you, I'm sorry. It still is missing that brownie texture, but flavors are okay. Not okay. I was afraid that it was going to be so overpowering from that like smell. Like too tasty or something. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. And it's not bad, but it is on the toothpaste end. It is, and it's and it's not something I would want to sit and eat all the time. No. Because I would get really tired of that flavor. I would too. I, would, I could not eat a whole bag yeah. of that because... This is one of those where you might get one when you're grazing through the kitchen, but then you're done. You're yeah. like, that was really good and it's refreshing and it does make you feel like you just brushed Watch your, your teeth, teeth, honestly. <laughs> um, but you're finished with it. Um, now, if you really, really, really love mint, yeah, that's that's probably what kind of candy that's going to be. Right. A, um, I think out of these... Out of the four, the only one I would even try is the dark chocolate truffle. The only one I would buy again is a dark so chocolate fudge. So, you... The, the, I still got the underlying chemical flavor from that. And like I said, I don't know if it was the caramel or the salt they used. I don't know. Right. There's something about it that was very chemical to me. I think... Um, I think I would pick the same ones as Kevin, yeah. the, the chocolate truffle. But this one, if you are a dark chocolate lover, I think you would really, really like yeah, this. It's really the chocolate, is a dark chocolate caramel too. sea salt because it's very, very dark. And honestly, I didn't get the caramel in that at all. Yeah. Well, I got whatever that flavor is. Right. And unfortunately, I'm shocked uh, because normally we are huge milk chocolate fans. Something just did not come yeah. across and that just did not settle right for us. So if you see these brownie points though, like I said, search my channel, do a search for Tammy Dunn brownie points and the other reviews will come up that we've done of these because um, as far as what I'm remembering, we really liked them and it seems like there might have been like a raspberry, there might have been a white chocolate. So just search those out. It's been a little while for us and we review so much we can't keep track of every single flavor we've tried. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.